Good morning, Rich Mew. It's good to see y'all again. Uh, and I do want to say good morning to you. Remember, we have started playing our favorite game. And our favorite category for this week is your favorite Thanksgiving food. You know, Thanksgiving is coming up or may have already passed, depending on when you're watching this. But my very favorite Thanksgiving food is my wife's dressing. She makes very good dressing that goes with the turkey. And I like it even more than I like the turkey. So you pause the video now and you share your favorite Thanksgiving food. All right, welcome back. And now we're going to have our jokes before we get into our Bible story. You know, we started in the book of Daniel last week, and we're going to have another story from the book of Daniel today. But, uh, okay, there was an, uh, an older lady, a spinster we'd call her, who never got married, and she passed away. And uh, as they were getting ready for the funeral, they saw her instructions, and she said, no men shall serve as pallbearers. And it further said that, the men wouldn't take me out when I was alive. I don't want them taking me out when I'm dead. All right, the next one is a young man uh, was trying to get a job as a policeman. And one of the questions in the interview was, would you be willing to arrest your mother? And if you would, what would you do uh, when you went to arrest her? And he said, uh, I'd call for backup. <laughs> okay, and the last one is three boys that were kind of bragging about their dads and the first one said, hey, my dad scribbles a few words on a piece of paper and he calls it a poem and someone pays him $50. And the next one said, oh, well, my dad scribbles some words on a, on a piece of paper and uh, he says it's a song and people pay him $100. And the other boy says, oh, I got you both beat. My dad scribbles some words on a piece of paper. He calls it a sermon and it takes eight men to pick up all the money. Okay, let's move on to our Bible story. Uh, and as I said before, we are in the book of Daniel, and today we're looking at the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Of course, last week we realized their names were uh, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, but these are the names that are used in the story, and they're their Babylonian names, so I'm going to use them in the story today. Uh, it's a true story, and this is found in Daniel chapter 3. Last week's was in Daniel chapter 1. In Daniel chapter 2, Daniel actually interprets a dream for the king, but we, we kind of didn't use that story, and we're moving right on to this one. And king, king Nebuchadnezzar, this is a picture of him. He was a very powerful and bossy king, and uh, he had a statue made, and he said everyone must uh, bow down and pray to the gold statue anytime the music plays. He said, it will be your God. And uh, the three young men, uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, said, no, we're not going to do that. Uh, we're not going to bow down to the gold statue. We only bow down to our God, Jehovah, and not some statue that, that people have made. The king was very angry. He said, if, if I am going to make another rule, these men must be thrown into the fire. He said, make the fire very hot, and that'll change their mind. And uh, he told them that if they didn't bow down to uh, the God and pray, that he would throw them in the furnace. And they said to him, said, I, I believe, they said, we believe that our God will save us from the fire, but even if he doesn't, we will still only pray to our God. And uh, so that's what they said. And they were, the fire was very hot. And uh, the three men were prayed, and they asked God to help them, and then they were thrown into the fire. But the fire didn't burn them. Uh, God was looking after them. Not even their clothes were burnt. When they came out, and we'll see that they did come out, they didn't even have a uh, smoke smell on their clothes. And when Nebuchadnezzar looked down in there, he said there was another person in the fire with them that looked like the Son of God. Wow. That was Jesus they're in the fire with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. So uh, this was a great story. And after that, Nebuchadnezzar made a new rule. Uh, he said, these men were right and I was wrong. Everybody in my kingdom now, now must pray to the one true God and not to the statue. So this just shows us that we need to stand up for what we believe in, uh, that we don't need to, to bow down to other gods because there are other other things that are around that we can worship rather than our, our, our God. And a lot of people do that. You know, they're, 
They're more interested in making money than worshiping God. They're more interested in their prestige or having a nice car and all those things than they are with worshiping God. So that's kind of our challenge today, to be someone who worships God instead of those other things. Now, as I said before, this is uh, kind of the week uh, of Thanksgiving. We'll actually celebrate Thanksgiving next Thursday, but we're getting ready for it this week, and uh, actually the office will be closed some of next week. I'll try to do a video for you, but I can't promise that I will, but I think you're still a little bit behind anyway, but it's really, really good to talk to you. I'm, I'm kind of concerned right now about all the cases of COVID-19. It seems like every day we find out somebody else in our church has got COVID-19. I can think of one that I found out about today. Her husband is a missionary and uh, she is here and she has got COVID-19. So we need to pray for her. Her name is Lisa and we'll, we'll move on to our prayer time and we'll pray for her and I'll pray for you as well. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for the opportunity we have to look into your word and see Bible stories. And we thank you that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego committed themselves to worship only you. And they would even give their lives for you if they had to. But you did protect them in the fire. We thank you for that. We thank you for the protection you provide for us. I pray that you keep us safe. And I pray that you keep everyone there at Ridgemere safe. Continue to be with them. I pray for the people who have got COVID-19. And I uh, pray especially today for my granddaughter, Abby, who's not feeling well. Be with her in a special way too. Lord, we ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, it's good talking to you. And I'll see you again next time, whether that's next week or the week after. Bye.